really, as I said earlier, Nigerians build houses all over the country, left, right, and center, in every village, every town. Local governments build houses for the high income, medium income, low income. Federal state governments do the same. Federal government also is doing a lot. So the idea is for us as members of National Assembly to also chip in our bit. How do we assist in getting more and more of these houses being built in the big cities and the smaller towns and even right down to the lowest level? So one of our members, one of our senators brought a, a, a bill on social housing. But the way he actually viewed it initially was that we are going to build free houses and distribute them free to unemployed people. Well, we have looked at all the housing efforts in the world. This has never been possible anywhere in the world. How can you build a free house and give it to freely to somebody who is unemployed? So how does he maintain it? How does he keep the house going? How does he even save his own children? He's not even employed. So the issue now is really we have to tie between low-cost houses and unemployment system we really need to introduce in this country. People who are unemployed should be able to get a reasonable amount of money every month, as it happens in most developed countries of the world, so that they can also, even if they get the house, they can maintain, they can do something before they actually, actually get full employment. So this is the effort the National Assembly is doing to bring about construction of low-cost houses, particularly in Lagos and Abuja and San Francisco capitals and also the 771 local government headquarters and other towns around. So this is what the bill is all about on the 20 years we want to hear from. We have already brainwashed on this. We have had a meeting with the professor. The professor has virtually accepted that we need low-cost houses rather than totally free houses for unemployed. So we want to hear from the public what their ideas are. We want to hear from the organizations that have something to do with housing generally, from land to housing to urban development, on how best to go about doing this. We are also identifying sources of funds for construction of these houses in their millions, not uh, 3,000 houses a year, 1,000 houses. How can you, uh, Nigeria in the last six years, I understand, has been, uh, the population has increased by 27 million. Well, we have not even built one million houses in the, in the six years. So how can you cope with that kind of situation? So we want a situation where we'll mobilize lazy, sleeping uh, resources, which the government of Nigeria has been allowing people to steal all the time, we put it into housing, low-cost housing, so that Nigerians will end up getting affordable uh, and also decent houses. So the recent ICPC report about uh, what, uh, the corruption in, in the FCT, FCDA says that uh, land allocation is uh, corruption is rife there. Uh, people people go there, they pay food, cheap toting, uh, uh, land uh, allocation papers that are not genuine, and they use that to sell to to get money from unsuspecting members of the public. What is your committee doing about that? Well, corruption really is flourishing everywhere in Nigeria from top to bottom. There is no exception whatsoever from top to bottom, and I mean top to bottom. So we just have to, oh, as Nigerians, put our heads together and fight it. There is nothing a committee or even one minister or one ministry can do really to stamp out corruption in any of these our, our, our units. It's a national problem. We have to solve it as a nation. We must fight it in all its ramifications. There's no excuse for you to say that you are a journalist or when corruption is going on, you only ask leaders, how are you going to solve it? You should be part of it. You should join the leaders in fighting corruption. It's in the interest of all Nigerians to fight corruption. Now, corruption is retarding our progress, really. It is retarding prog our progress. That's what you should, we should understand. So the committee will do everything possible yeah, yeah, to minimize it. Now this summit is about making urban cities more habitable. Yeah. And I'm sure at the end of the day they'll come up with recommendations. Yes. Can you give us assurance that these recommendations will be adopted and acted upon adequately? Well, I can assure you that it will be adapted. As for the implementation, just like uh, fighting corruption, we all have to get together and implement it together as Nigerians. You know, in this kind of situation, you need land, which has to come from somewhere. You need money, which has to come from several sources. You need organizations that will have to pay their own part. All Nigerians must also contribute in the implementation. It's in our interest. Finally, uh, you, you're a leader and you've been in the system for quite a you know, long time. 
Now, there's a silence point that actually crop up here, which is social, you know, or a housing system. Do you think that that is achievable? Yes, achievable in the way I've just said now, low-cost houses rather than free social houses for distribution to unemployed as initially uh, thought about by the sponsor. Yes, low-cost housing in their millions is possible nationwide. Thank you for your time.